Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackbeard, and in this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to use the zoom tool in all of its glory. So I'm going to go over pretty much everything that you can do with it. So the zoom tool is this magnifying glass looking thing here. And click on it, and, and it'll bring up the uh, zoom tool options up here and you'll be able to tell that you have it selected because you have a magnifying glass with a plus sign in on your over top of your canvas here so the first way you can easily zoom in and out is just by clicking on the image so if I left click on this image it's going to zoom me in if I hold alt and click it's going to zoom me out now there's a few ways to zoom in and out using this tool and a whole bunch of different ways to do things that you want <clears throat> if you have this scrubby zoom selected and you hold your left bu mouse button down and you move right it's gonna zoom in Oop, geez. and if you move left it's gonna zoom out so that's uh, very handy it's better than just clicking and zooming but one thing about clicking and zooming is it kind of centers like it centers the image more over to where you clicked and zoomed. If you uncheck scrubby zoom, now you can make a bounding box of where you want to zoom into. So maybe I want to zoom in on these tires. So that's uh, how you do that. Let me uncheck it. Um, they're both they both have their uses. They're both pretty decent. And as you can tell, like if I start zooming in on something like here, and then I start zooming out, it'll automatically usually centers it for you, so that your uh, canvas isn't over here on like the corner or something like that. Now we've got a couple things going, buttons going on up here: actual pixel, pixels, pit screen, fill screen, print size. So if we cl click on actual pixels. It's going to uh, zoom in to like pretty much 100%. If we go to fit screen, it's just going to fit the entire screen with the uh, image. So right now, this image is large, so it's at 28.82%. If I click on fill screen, then it's just going to fill up the entire screen, even if it has to cut off the edges. And print size is how big this is going to print on some paper or something like that. There's a little cool um, hotkey that you can use to uh, zoom in temporarily and it'll snap back to what it's at. So if you hold down the H key while you have the zoom button here clicked and drag, it'll temporarily zoom in a little bit for you. And then if you let, let the H key go, it'll snap back. So that's just like a cool little thing you can do if you're working and need to like zoom in temporarily. Now you got a couple check boxes up here that are kind of um, self-explanatory. Zoom all windows here will zoom both of these two windows uh, at the same time. So remember what this one looks like pretty zoomed in there and this one if I zoom in this one also zoomed in. So that's what zoom all windows means. And then we got resize windows to fit. So if I click on it, it's going to just like try to fit it for you. And I don't really like it too much. So I don't really use resize windows to fit. Then you can also select if you want to zoom out by or zoom in by selecting either the plus or minus magnifying glass there. And um, there are some uh, presets, but I'm not going to get into that today. So, like, maybe you want to have one that zooms in a certain amount. You can set it like you can set that up. Now you can zoom in also without even having to use a uh, be on the zoom tool, which is pretty neat. If you click on any other tool, so I'll click on this magic wand tool here. You hold down Control Space Bar. And you can see it turns into the zoom tool, which you can click and zoom out or zoom in. If you hold Alt while you're holding Control and Spacebar, you can uh, zoom out. So that's just a quick way to do it. And then let go of the hotkeys to 
um, get back onto the tool that you were using, which is pretty sweet. So that's uh, all the um, uses of the zoom tool. Um, if you watched the tutorial before this, it was about the navigator, and the navigator and the zoom tool are pretty much used like the same same way. So um, use those interchangeably if you want. Um, whichever way you prefer is up to you. Whichever you can work faster with is what I would uh, recommend. So thanks for watching this tutorial, guys and girls, and have a good one.